This is a follow-up video. The initial video was for the Harbor Freight Logic Probe. And this is another Harbor Freight test light, but it's a simple uh, test light with a bulb and a single probe. And so what I want to do is basically explain how to use it. First thing you always want to do with a test light is to hook one side up to the negative and then the other to the positive and make sure you get a light like we see here. And that way you can test the probe to see if it's working. So um, I said that a simple test light is a little more complicated because you have to think about where you put the uh, alligator clip and what you're going to look for with the probe. So in this case, this is the negative terminal of the battery. And when I hook to the negative terminal of the battery, anywhere that I find in the circuit where there is positive voltage, it will light the test light. So essentially, I'm, when you're grounded on the alligator clip, you will find power. Now, what you can do also and is to take the ground clip and put it on power. And now what it allows you to do on a car would be to see if you have a good ground. You could touch this probe to the frame and see if your, in, if your battery to frame uh, cable is good. And it will allow you to see if you if this lights up. So when you when you find a good ground, this should light up and show you that you have a ground. And so now you're searching for ground. So if you're on the if your alligator clip is on the ground or the negative, you're looking for power. If your alligator clip is on the power side of the battery, the positive, you're looking for grounds. Another um, useful thing useful test light purpose is to find high resistance and sometimes you'll notice when I put this on here it won't light up right away like right there it's not lighting up that's because there's a layer of a thin layer of corrosion on this terminal here and when I when I uh, get through that layer of corrosion it lights right up and so that's basically called a high resistance situation and so that's that's what a uh, Tesla is great for finding high resistance so let me show you by looking at this this chart here so if you have a battery here you got plus and minus here and this plant this is going to ground okay and this is going over to a bulb so this is your bulb and this is also going to go to ground through probably a switch so let's say that your light isn't working if you take the test light and you check from here to here and your light lights up that shows you that your bulb is bad because you're finding that you have the positive you need and you have the negative you need now that works for any situation as long as you um, you can test what's between where your probes are so if you had an open in this wire let's say you had a break right here um, and this theoret would actually be the positive and this side would be the negative negative. and if you tested right here and there was a break in the wire the bulb would light up and uh, that would tell you that you have an issue right there so test lights great for troubleshooting electrical circuits you know do you have positive at the component do you have ground or negative at the component? If you do, then that can help you focus in on that the component is bad. Uh, another good use of a test light is to check a battery terminal. And I, I may have briefly talked about this before, but if you have a battery terminal, um, let's just draw a battery here. Let's get your battery. Uh, it's fun doing this with one hand. So you got your, let's make this positive and this negative. And you have your terminal and your wire, okay. 
what you need to first do is make sure there's a load on the battery. So uh, turn a light on, have the door open, have the radio on. And then what you're going to do is actually take your probe and you're going to probe between the post of the battery, the center of the battery, and right next to it, which is the uh, cable clamp. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to see if there's any corrosion in this area between the battery post and the terminal. And so if, you're, if your test light in most cases won't be bright, but it will be slightly dim. If you see uh, your, your uh, connection, there's enough resistance in this connection that it lights up the bulb, then you need to take the connection apart, clean the corrosion out, and put it back together. So that's a good test for both the positive side and also the negative terminal. Um, so that, that's the last way I think it's good to test this. So I'm hoping to make some more videos uh, shortly. It's been, I know it's a long time since I made the Logic Pro video, uh, but I did want to put out a video that talked about the simple test light. And um, I'm looking for ideas for more videos. So if you want to leave a comment, uh, feel free. Uh, appreciate any likes. And we will talk to you later. Thank you very much. Have a great day.